I put the gasket in place then I lowered the head in it's a little bit hard to do by yourself when I lowered the engine earlier to put the uh, engine mount in over here that I had to jack the engine back up because my exhaust manifold in the back was uh, stopping me from putting the head in properly and also the bracket here you gotta watch out for your heat sensor probably would have been best if I didn't have it on there I didn't think about it uh, but it's on there so next step is we'll look up the bolt uh, tensioning uh, scenario they have it'll start off do so much do so much in a sequence then go to the next torque specification do so much till you reach uh, whatever the max torque is and then I believe we'll give it another quarter turn each bolt so we'll look that up and uh, then we'll begin doing that all right we're getting ready to install the head bolts uh, there's two size bolts you have a long one and a short one the short ones there are four of them they go on the outer four corners that's where they go and then the other ones fill in the others holes now what we have to do before we uh, install them we need to put some clean oil on the threads and then we need to put oil uh, under the head of the bolt um, now the sequence for doing this there's a in the manual it shows this is the front of the car down here you start out 25 foot pounds now this is for a uh, 2000 through 2002 model this is the sequence you do 25 foot pounds go around then you torque them down to 50 foot pounds and then you go back around and check them at 50 foot pounds again then you turn them an additional 90 degrees or a quarter turn you can put a paint mark on there and then put the a corresponding paint mark on the head put a paint mark on your bolt and then one on the head where it should be at 90 degrees I'm not going to use my torque wrench for that 90 degree turn. I'll just put the breaker bar and then slowly turn it till I match my marks up. Uh, now, on 2003 models, it says there's a whole different sequence. The first step, you go around and do 25 foot pounds. And then step two, bolts one through six, the interior ones here. You go to 50 foot pounds the outside ones you go to 35 and then step three one through six the inside ones you go to 50 and the outside ones checked at 35 and then again 90 degrees additional turn or quarter turn so there's a little bit difference uh, for 2003 models up and then those below and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll put oil on the bolt threads, put it under the heads of the bolt, and uh, I'll start torquing them down. Of course, I got my chart right here, so that I don't uh, I don't want to be turning, forget which one I'm on and stuff, which I shouldn't. I mean, it's only ten of them, but that's what I'm getting ready to do. Get the underside. I put some oil in the cap. I put it between the washer and the thing. Then you just spin that washer, lift it and stuff so it makes sure it coats under there. That's the easiest way to get the underside of the head. You don't have to use a brush or anything like that. I forgot to mention these head bolts are 15 millimeter all right here's how we're gonna do our 90 degree deal if I would put a mark on the bolt my socket goes over it I can't see so that doesn't do me any good so here's what I've done 
this is a uh, six point socket inside there there's um, it's a hexagon and um, is that hexagon no that's a yeah a hexagon so anyway at one of the points right here at the bottom I made a mark and then I took up and I used a red red uh, sharpie you can see the red line I put a piece of angle iron on the tube when you do that it automatically makes straight because the way it sits on there it has to go straight so I made a red line so that I can see then there's a flat wall that's 90 degrees out from it so I got off the center put a mark and then again put me a red line you can use black whatever uh, so those two marks are 90 degrees out so here's what we're gonna do oh, ooh, yeah. now that red mark now I'm being careful not to smudge my lines when I pull a little tension this way my red line lines up with my mark now all I have to do is as I'm turning this when my next red line appears there I have turned that 90 degrees so I just put my socket here make a mark give it a pull till I hit 90 degrees that'll be a quarter turn and that's how I will set my bolts and I know that I have it correct